and I have rearranged the party as necessary. Also went back and healed. Uh, that's not entirely necessary, but I went and did it anyway. Fred is pretty much the same as he was before. Four steel or silver armlet, fire ring. In terms of materia, he does have the chocomog, elemental, and rama materias, as well as the lightning awls and the long range and enemy skill. I might consider taking the enemy skill off of him for a little bit, though, while I go take care of something that we'll go over in a bit. Soap is still on the magic comb, even though we still have the silver barrette. Four slots on normal, to me, not as good as three slots on double. Silver armlet as well with the power wrist, so that he does a lot more damage. In terms of materia, I do have him on poison, death blow, and earth, as well as fire all enemy skill and steel. I'm still trying to get that steel up. If I can get that all the way up, I will be very, very happy. Just want mug. I don't really want master, just mug. Olive, however, is new. Uh, I do have her with the fairy tale staff. And the reason for that, as you can see here, is for seven materia slots. That's ridiculous, and I do fully enjoy that. They're not linked, but really when they're seven, I don't really care. Uh, silver armlet and talisman for her. In terms of the other things that we have purchased for her, we do have better stuff, right? Uh, I was on the wizard staff before because it's three slots that are doubled. Uh, the striking staff, not as good, but there are two linked slots. Umbrella, of course, we've gone over before. Lots of attack, but who's really using Olive to attack? Materia. It's all about materia. Prism Staff is actually the best thing that we could put her on in terms of attack. And there are four uh, pair. well, there's two pairs of Link slots, but that's not really what I'm going for. Just seven. Seven. Ridiculous. So what did I fill her up with? I filled her up with summons, really. Not necessarily the probably most cost-effective way, but that's what I did. Titan, Ifrit, Shiva. I'm going to keep trying to level those up as we go along, even though I don't use them rarely, if ever, anymore. But I'm going to keep them around just in case, you know, I do want to show them off. Uh, cover as well, so that we can uh, continue to get her limit breaks up. She's definitely the one I want to focus for limit breaks right now. Uh, time, because why not haste? Mystify and revive. Mystify, probably just to level it up so I can get berserk even though I may not use Berserk. Uh, in terms of the stuff on her armlet though, we do have the HP and MP plus on her. I would like to get those leveled up. Uh, starts at 10. I do, of course, want that to go up higher. Uh, then we have Restore All on her as well. Now I mentioned that I was going to be taking care of something before we actually do follow Bugenhagen up top. There's something I want to take care of back at Fort Condor, which, if you remember, isn't even on this continent. So I'm going to go all the way across the world so that I can pay money to help out Fort Condor a little bit more. I will be back. We do have new enemies here. We have the Desert Saha Jins. I've never figured out how to say that. Uh, this is probably a good point for me to point out that if you drove too far in the buggy, you probably won't be able to do this Fort Condor fight. That's the reason that I did not take the buggy as far as I could have, because I want to go back to Fort Condor. And the buggy breaks down, I can't go back. Seriously, they're not dead yet? Two Matra Magics isn't enough? How about a third one? Uh, these guys are, I believe, blinding me. It doesn't really matter because I'm using magic. And they should all die now. That should be more than enough to take them all out. I am trying to get Soap some kills here. So if you are looking to do all of the Fort Condor battles, you do want to do what I did, which is park the buggy. Well, just to be safe, don't park it on anything gray. I'll be back. My reward for going all the way across the world in order to help Fort Condor with a fight? Five high potions. Probably not worth the time, but now I do not need the buggy to work anymore, so I am going to drive it. We'll see how far it gets. Oh, that's right. You actually get to go past Fort Condor before it breaks down.
What do you have to say about this, Fred? Oh man, a breakdown now? Yes, now. So, you can try all you want. You can't get back in the buggy now. So let's head back into Cosmo Canyon now that our buggy has actually broken down. Before we do actually follow Bugenhagen, it's a really uh, kind of narrow window for this Fort Condor battle. Let's go save at the inn. Well, at least heal at the inn. Yes, I would like to stay. Have a great dream of the stars. I'm not exactly sure why I would be dreaming about the stars just because I'm in Cosmo Canyon, but that's what they believe. Everybody inside. Let's go. I will pull this Fred over if you guys don't do what I say. I uh, did... Did I get any levels? I don't think I got any levels for any of this stuff. Not even the alls or the elemental. Not... Not looking good for me. Uh, how many did I get? 327 AP going back and forth. Not too good, to be honest with you. For an across the world journey, 327 AP is not necessarily what I was looking for, but that's how much I got. Didn't even get that limit break for soap. And I'm pretty sure I let him kill everything. At least damn near everything. So, let's follow Bugenhagen. It took him that long to walk up the stairs. Bugenhagen is not the fastest hover in the world. For whatever reason, they want to make that part kind of weird to walk through. Okay, Bugenhagen, how you doing? Are we all set? Yeah, I'm ready. Shall we go? All right, come in, come in. Hey, aren't you going with us, Grandpa? What are you, crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me should go first? I'll be right behind you. Or inside Fred, just like everybody else. Fred has a large cavity inside him somewhere so that everybody can fit. So what we need to do is... G descend, really, further and further into the canyon, into the creepiness that is below. Starts getting a little bit more green, starts getting a little bit more gross, to be honest with you, but we will head down there nonetheless, undeterred. And this is nothing, right? Yeah, we want to go towards the light, not the dark. And here we are in the Cave of the Gee, if I remember my names correctly, and chances are I don't. But I do believe that is the name of it. If I go down here, this is a strange looking rock. Of course, you break open the rock. I shouldn't have broke open the rock. But we are up against new enemies here. Uh, these, if I remember correctly, are the Gee Tribe. There we oh, Gee Spectres. Say, well, they're of the Gee. Yeah. This will give us a chance to show off Death Blow. We'll see who lives through all of this. Oh, they all live. Death Blow. Missed. You get used to it. Oh, there we go. Breath of the Earth. Not that it's necessary, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Do another Death Blow. Go, Breath of the Earth. It didn't do anything, but that's not important. What's important is that she used it. That's all that is vital. There you go. You get to see both aspects of Death Blow. Lower accuracy rate, but also critical hit, which is always nice. Level up, also very nice. Now, I do believe that the... Wow, really? Not even out? Uh, the Undead Spectres here, they do cast an enemy skill that I would like them to use, but... Oh, that's the guy that uses a skill. Death Sentence. Wonderful. I have learned it, but uh, what happens is that... Ooh, anti limit break. What happens is that the countdown above your head starts at 60. When it gets down to zero, you die. And it looks like he has been stopped as well. This is not looking good for me. All of you are still on... Most oh there we go he's back 
go. Oh, now everybody's poisoned. That's that's exactly what I want. Go, Sled Fang. And we're down to like half. This isn't looking so good. Can you die, please? You can't die. Natural magic. We're down to half of the timer. I'm not going to worry about the poison. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. But poison would be nice to avoid if you are trying to get in here. Down it goes. Timer does not go down to zero, but I have learned Death Sentence nonetheless. Just have to have it cast on you. You don't actually need to die. In fact, I would recommend that you don't. These are giant bones, if you guys haven't been able to see that. Let's head down here. Break open that rock. Another fight. Is it going to be the same Gee Specters this time? It is. Three of them, though. The Gee Specters actually also have the Death Sentence enemy skill that I am looking for. Which is good, because it's kind of hard to get sometimes. Now, just this guy. But that one guy was nice enough to cast Death Sentence on Fred, so now he's got it too. Let's head down here. Fool me three times. This one works, though. So, let us... Actually... Is there anything down here? Another rock? Uh, we're gonna leave that as is, because that's just another battle to be honest with you. I know that. It's just the third one that actually does something for you. Are there any more enemies here? No, it's just this guy. What is your name, anyway? Sneaky Step. Damn you, Sneaky Step. Really nothing more for us to do here, except look at the guy that got speared into the wall. We'll just head out forward. Everyone here is a ghost of the Gee tribe. Killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the live stream. We still have far to go. Once again, that live stream word is brought up again. I, I will just say now, in RPGs, they don't tend to lie about that kind of stuff. So anytime somebody tells you something important about the entire Earth, you believe it. You don't write it off as... You know, like hippie nonsense or anything like that. Uh, what we need to do is head over to this and walk across. If you run, you'll slip and go into the spikes, which will cause damage to you. Your entire party, if I remember correctly. And in here we get the added effect materia. This is a new support materia, just like the elemental materia and the all materia. This will add a status, materia status, to the equipped weapon or armor. For instance, if I should... Well, I don't really have anything that'll work here. Fred, you are not good, so good with this. Let's see. What do I have? I don't have anything. Okay, so let's say... Time. Let's say I attached it to a time in, in the linked slot. What it would do is it would either add the effect. Wait, there we go. It would either add the effect here for slow stop when you attack, or when you defend, it would defend you against slow and stop if it's linked. So, can be useful. Especially when you start putting stuff like death on your attack. It can definitely be useful, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. Let's head back up now that we have gotten the one materia that was at least on screen. So easy to find. Let's head back up here. And I was going to show off slipping, but they didn't really want to let me. Are there any enemies in this room? No. Just the heads across the slippery liquid so if you were going left you'd hit the spikes on the left and actually i think we need to go this way just run and head over here yeah that's the way that i want to go forward and down these stairs and down this path which does lead us to the treasure chest that was very very apparent to us before and in this very apparent treasure chest we do find a black megaphone for Dat My Ho, who is not here with us because I don't like him very much. Well, not in battle, at least. Maybe not as a hoe either, though, now that I think about it. Sounds painful. 